Hi everybody, it's Random Terry here, and I'm bringing you a Dollar Tree haul today. I got back to the store. Yep, I did. Um, and I'm just going to pull some random stuff out of this bag. Um, I had to wait till people went to bed and the TV was off before I could film here. And that's okay. That's okay. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Um, we'll just get right into it. And did I say a Dollar Tree haul? Yes. Okay. So first thing I have, we'll just jump right in so I don't waste too much time. I bought another pack of these. These laundry detergent sheets. Um, I saw them again. I hadn't even tried the first pack I got, but I got another pack. So um, I'm just... I'm trusting that these will work and maybe the next load of wash that I wash, that's like my clothes, I'll give it a try to see. Because I know the spray, did I just get the spray in this? I think I did. Or was there something else? I forget. Um, it smells pretty good, so hopefully this will smell just as good. So, and there are... Yes, 15 sheets in there, 15 loads. <clears throat> Except for large loads, you need to have two sheets. So, Nordic Air. Oh, I just love that picture. It just makes it seem so fresh. Like your laundry will be fresh when it comes out. Usually it is, but hey. <coughs> Sorry about the crinkly. All right, and I have another tablecloth to put on there. I was looking for a tablecloth to put on, and I could find only the plastic ones. Well, I guess this is plastic too, but I think this might have a little bit of a backing on it. Not much. I mean, like the one I have on, I think has a little bit of a backing, and it's from Dollar Tree, but it's not much. Are these lights too bright? Turn down a little bit. Because I feel like it is. Again. Okay. Why not? I don't know. So I got this pretty, and I they do have, you need to get down, Cosmo. I know, you want to get down. Yeah, you get down. So this is, oh, yeah, okay, this has an edge on it, too. It's like a just a selvage type edge, but it does have a little bit of a backing, not that much. <clears throat> but this is, um, the size, it's right on the bag. I'm trying not to uh, lean too far back so Cosmo doesn't attack my lap again. <laughs> okay, this is a... 52 by 70 inch, and I think I saw a 52 by 52 inch, a square one, and so I had to kind of keep an eye out, and I couldn't fish through all of them to see if they had an oval one, because I like this oval one. I don't know what size it was. I just thought it was a rectangle. I went to put it on, and I thought, oh, the edges are kind of, kind of rounded, and I thought, hmm. And when I looked at the package, it was oval. And I don't know the measurements of it. So, but I like it because the corners don't hang down so far. And it fits my little table better. Yeah, it does. It really does. So that's my tablecloth for the holidays. Here's something I never saw at Dollar Tree before. And it might be just new to me that I never saw. And it was on one of those hang strips. And there are one, two... Three, four in a pack. They are the silicone straw covers. And I picked this pack because it had the little, um, the avocado in there. It had avocado, little strawberry, pineapple, and little rainbow. Um, they had two other packages. I think one had a cherry, like two cherries. And a flower or something. And then there was another package, oh, an orange, two flowers and something, and then cherries and two other things, and then a package with grapes, I believe. Three packages. 
Yeah, I think there's just three different kinds, but they had different things in them. I know there was one package that had like two, two little flowers in it too. So I just thought I would get this one to use on my drinking straws. Along with that, oh, right next to it, I saw this too. I'm wondering how these will work. Bottle, bottle cleaner tabs. And I thought this is good because it says use in silicone, stainless, or plastic bottles. Fill a bottle with warm water and drop in one tablet. Let the effervescent tablet work. It's magic for 15 to 30 minutes. Pour out and rinse thoroughly. Tip for tougher, tougher stains, you use hotter water and let sit overnight before rinsing. I think that's pretty good. Ingredients is sodium carbonate, sodium chloride, citric acid, microcrystalline cellulose, sodium laurel sulfate. That's all it says. And then for more ingredient information, visit rejoice-us.com. Manufactured for Rejoice International out of Michigan. So yeah, and there's 12 of them in there. What are you doing? So I thought, mm, it's a home bright thing. And I thought if they work, I thought it'd be something to try. And they're individually wrapped. Little tablets. So it's nice. Hey, you never took interest in that before. You dig it down, did you do that? Bottle cleaner tablet. Yeah. So those will go under the sink. I just thought that would be kind of cool. All right. And then, and then, and then. What do we have here? I want to find it all. I need it all. There's more food stuff in here, too. You can hear the crinkling. You know. Okay, so I did find some more fun stuff for the bath basket. Bath tub. Ba Would you get that? And I found, this is by Mr. Bubbles. These are fizzy, fizzy, tub, fizzy tub colors and water changing. And it says that there are six colors, six bright colors, and there are nine tablets in each, bat, in each pack. So I got three packs. Um, and I thought having six colors, I thought I'd find packages that had the six colors on it. But now I'm thinking that they have six colors in the packages, like all six colors in there in different. So I bought three of those to put in the thing and they're Mr. Bubbles. So they're a brand name and I just thought those were kind of cute. And it tells you on the back um, why you'll love it. Probably paraben free creates steam streaming colors, fun in the tub, create fun colors in the tub with Mr. Bubble. Okay, just gonna water. Okay, explore, make color, make color burst, mix colors, fragrance free and bright colors. So you can kind of put them in there in fizzy colors, and you can make different colors and stuff. So I thought that would be really fun. And, 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 I found these packages of Crayola, and there are two packages of bath fizzies. One's two fish, and one's two seahorses, and I only found two, and since there's three kiddos, I found a truck, and this is a, um, Body Raves. Swirl bath fizzer. And it's a it's a it's a like a monster truck in there. So I thought I'd put that in. And I thought that would be kind of fun. Gently fizzes and tints your bath water 
make bath time magical. Yeah. So I thought more bath time fun. So hopefully they will have fun with these. Wanted. I don't know if people have tried these. I've not tried these before. It's the Global Beauty, and it's just the Smooth and Lift Collagen Cleansing Cloths. I have some cleansing cloths now that are from another company that I use, and I like. At the end of the day, I take my face off, or wash my face. Might be taking my face off if I have makeup on. <clears throat> and they're kind of, I know I'm getting down to the bottom. So I figured I'd give these a try. So, hopefully... Let me tell, or tell me if uh, you've tried them and how you like them. And I've tried, I cannot read that writing on there. I don't know if it has the collagen, the peptides, the hyaluronic acid, squalene, all four of those things in it. With peptide, I guess it does, it says right on front. Collagen cleansing cloths with peptides, hyaluronic acid, and squalene right there but that print right there come on I can see it better in the camera than I can so now we'll go in the bathroom okay and then moving right along so I ate my candy cane peeps that we had a couple hauls of back my last Dollar Tree haul, I guess I was hungry when I went and I got this stuff. And I was on a peppermint kick. And I went back and I tried to look for some more of those peeps, but I couldn't find any. But they were really refreshing and just that hint of peppermint, they were good. Couldn't find them. Nope. But I found some trees. So I bought some peeps. Some marshmallow trees. I like peeps. Alrighty. I saw these things which I thought, oh, and I think I had heard this name brand somewhere before recently. And I went into Dollar Tree and they were like on a, a rack where they had like fancy candies and stuff. And I got two of each of these color, each of these different types. One is uh, dark chocolate and one is milk chocolate and they are espresso beans. So they are chocolate covered espresso beans and I did get two of each because you know if one's good two is better so got two of each of those and one or two might go in a gift basket or something and of course if one or two are going to go in a gift basket one or two have to go in my mouth so that's those I'll stop the crinkling Usable bag. I'll fold that up after a minute. Uh, let's see about this bag. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no surprise here. Get the cheese ball fix on. I only bought one bag this time, and I threw away the ginormous, ginormous tub because it was it took up too much room in there, and it encouraged overindulging in them. I think one bag in the pantry is probably just fine. Good enough. Let me see the sodium. 250 milligrams of sodium for 38 balls. Okay. That doesn't sound like, you know, I guess 11% of your sodium intake for the day. I guess that is quite a bit of sodium. But they don't taste as salty as some of the other ones, I feel. And here's the real reason. I waited until after people have gone to bed. I got my fix on. Yeah. So, these are going to go in the freezer again. Once I open a sleeve, it's gone. They're gone. 
So, or at least I open the sleeve. I can't just take a couple out. I usually wind up the whole sleeve. And that's, yeah. Maybe I'll forget them this time if I bury them in the back of the fr freezer. <laughs> that's not happening. Yep. And then I have not tried these before either. And I didn't know they had kettle chips. A kettle, old fashioned kettle cooked original potato chips. And I thought these sounded good. And I kind of like the thicker chips. And I've had Miss Mickey's chips. And I like those. I'm wondering if these are going to be similar to those. If not, mm. hopefully they'll be close. So. Um, that's good. It's just, it gives you a bit more crunch and more chew, I think, with a thicker chip. So. What else? What else? I know I've got more. There's got to be more. Oh, yeah, not more. Oh, there we go. There are some more things here. Oh, yeah, I'm almost done here. Okay. So, I was walking through, what aisle? Was it the frame aisle? Maybe, and then they have like the plaques and stuff. And I saw a little house shape, and it said home on it. And it had a little um, cardinal. And then I looked to the back, and I saw the heart shape. The other one was house shape. This is a heart shape. And they had one that had black background, and the bird was sitting differently. And I think it had black beads in there. But I saw the white one, too. And then I think they had a house shape that said love. Um, and I just, I like this one. I picked it out. I know there's, uh, like, one thing that's, like, broken. I'll pull that out on the tassel. I can fix that. Come on, turn around for me. Show. Show. There we go. And I just thought this was real pretty. And when I make a basket and tie it up with the cellophane and tie this around the top, that'd be kind of pretty. And I thought that was really nice. And I... Found one that doesn't look too um too battered. You know how sometimes you get the yeah, like maybe yeah, not much on this one. Sometimes you get them battered on the edge. This one's not bad. And I don't know if this was a new item or not, but they had like let's see the two house shapes, the two heart shapes. I have a feeling they had another shape too. I'm not sure. <laughs> I could be wrong, but yeah, I thought that was really pretty. Very, very pretty. So, there's that one. And then, yes, okay, I was walking by and these pretty little boxes struck me. And I thought, what's in those? And I picked them up. They, they are candles in here. One of them is going to go in a basket. And this one is <coughs> Sugar Pine and Pomelo. Pomelo? Pomelo? And it's... It's a very pretty scent. And it is piney, but it's not like an overwhelming one. <coughs> and this one is Winter Magic. And there was a red box, plaid box, that had um, crimson cranberry or cranberry crimson or something like that. And that did smell good too, but not... I was going to get it also because it was nicely scented too. But I didn't need three of them. I'm going to have one. This is going to be the other one. And... I want to see what they look like inside. This one I'm not going to open because it's going to go to somebody and it is kind of sealed. So this one's going to be mine. Um, there is a sticker on the back of it that you can peel off. That dollar twenty-five. It is a... Let me see if I'm lying. <laughs> well, if you took your time... Because I find if you get the edge up and you just start peeling back very slowly. 
many times you can get it off without tearing it. I think I already tore it. My mom used to do that. Patience, patience, patience. Just slowly peel back. Eh. Eh. The other one I'll take my time with, but it will come off. But these were so these were so pretty, and I mean that does make a nice little gift. I mean it's in a pretty box. Okay, so this will pop open like that, right? And it is kind of the four corners. I mean the four things are sealed. So I'm going to get in here. Oh, it's not sealed. Oh, I thought this was seal on each fourth. Oh, okay, it's not. <laughs> oh, that smells really good. Oh, very cute. Now I know why they put them in a box. So you don't see the crinkly little plastic they put around it. But if that's on there like that, you can take that off. I bet. And that Winter Magic is a like a silvery, I can't really get you to see that, can you? That's like a silvery, you can't with the lights. But that's like silvery on there. But yeah, if you could take that, it's like shrink wrap around it. Take that off and just have the little round candle thing. No, you wanna smell it? You don't, you don't smell with your tongue, dude. You don't smell with your tongue. No, you don't smell with your tongue. Sit down. Cosmo, sit. Sit. Cosmo. Sit. Sit. Good boy. All right. So, that's kind of pretty. I wish this looked a little bit prettier. I guess it's here, neither here nor there, but the, the shrink wrap is kind of like, crinkled up around under there so that's not real presentable so what do you do you put it in a box and the box is pretty and then it gets closed in I that perfect lined up there Yeah, and push back down. So there. So there. Yeah, it's not as closed together. But isn't that cool? That's just cool. Okay, that's mine. And that's... I kind of like this one. Also, but I like that other one too. This one's going in the basket. Okay. So, now we're down to my last item here. What you've been waiting for. I went in to the store. And giving a shout out to Trisha's house. Yes, I am. She kind of um, said that she likes these real well. And I looked the last time I was at Dollar Tree and could not find them. And this time I went in and they had one. Or they had two on the shelf. And I reached down and I picked one up and I looked at the other one and I thought to myself, if I don't get the second one, Trish is going to be disappointed in me. So I grabbed them both. The last two. So she likes these a lot. So right here, I am going to try them. So these are guaca chips, original guaca chips, El Sabroso. Snacks Delicioso, guacamole flavored tortilla chips. I like guacamole, I like tortilla chips. Let me try them. I'll just cut it off. Oh, they're just a pretty green. Oh, that's, it is pretty.
the guacamole avocado flavor comes through on this. Wow, they are good. Five servings per container. Oh, no, this bag doesn't have a chance with me. Not a tremendously large bag. Mm. So that's my haul for you for today. And I wish you well until next time I see you. And if you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. And it helps me a lot. And thank you for returning if you've returned. Thank you for watching me if you're new. And until next time, bye. That was wrong.